So in this question, uh, it is which of these have hydrogen bonding with themselves? So the most important thing to remember about hydrogen bonding is that hydrogen bonding only occurs with these three elements, fluorine, oxygen, and nitrogen. Hydrogen has to bond to one of these to have hydrogen bonds. So just look to see if it has, um, uh, if the structure allows it to have H combined with one of these. So if you look at this, well, oxygen, fluorine, and nitrogen aren't even present, so there's no way that it can have a hydrogen bond. So it's no. Next one, um, hydrogen and iodine. Um, so you look once again. Does it does it even have these three elements? Um, and it's no. It doesn't have fluorine, oxygen, or nitrogen. So it's no. The next one, K and F. It actually does have one of these elements as fluorine, but then it doesn't have hydrogen. So then no. And then B E H two. Okay, so it has hydrogen at least. Um, does it have these three? Uh, no, it doesn't. It it doesn't have F or N. Finally, this one. Uh, does it have hydrogen? Yes, it does. Does it have one of these? Yeah, it actually does. It has O, oxygen. Okay, so once once you look at this, does the structure actually allow oxygen to have a bond with H, to uh, have a bond with hydrogen? And yes, it does. It's right next to it. Um, in the structure, oxygen is combined with hydrogen. So yes. Sometimes, um, even though there will be an O and H in the formula, the oxygen will actually not be combined with it. So for that, you, you might need to know how to draw the loose structure or they'll provide it. And then if it's not physically connected with the hydrogen, then there's no hydrogen bond.